Hello Superset Maniacs and welcome back to my channel. In this video we are going to rank the top 10 physiques of the 2020s so far before the 2024 Mr. Olympia. I can only hope this next weekend's event brings at least a few top 10 worthy physiques. Keep in mind this will be one entry per athlete. In 10th place we have Dexter Jackson at the 2020 Arnold Classic. A prime Dexter Jackson would probably be in the top 3 of any decade but 2020 was the year he retired so we're not talking about his prime years. Still, he finished runner up at this show behind William Bonac and in front of Big Rami who was going to win the Mr. Olympia later that year. In ninth place, we have another legend of the sporting Phil the Gift Heath at the 2020 Mr. Olympia. Phil would probably be at least top 2 in any list if we're talking about his prime, but the 2020 Mr. Olympia was probably his worst shape ever, at least on the Olympia stage. He didn't have the usual pop and the major issue was his midsection, which prevented him from being in the discussion to win that year's Olympia in the end. In 8th place we have Samson Dauda at the 2024 Arnold Classic UK which is still his best shape of all time in my opinion. Samson is just 8th today but he's one of the bodybuilders who hasn't reached his prime years and full potential yet so as the years go by he should be climbing much higher on a list ranking the best physiques of the decade. Hopefully he does that in a few days at the 2024 Mr. Olympia. In 7th place I have the only entry that is not from a Mr. Olympia or Arnold Classic, Andrew Jack at the 2024 Texas Pro. Yes, I consider this physique of his better than anything I've seen from Samson so far and I also have a feeling this physique of Andrew's will go down in the history of bodybuilding as one of the legendary ones, especially if he's never going to surpass it, which is a big if if you ask me. This is one of those physiques that will become better and better in bodybuilding's collective memory as the years pass. In 6th place we have William Bonac at the 2020 Arnold Classic. This was probably the last time we've seen a Mr. Olympia winning worthy physique from him. He beat Dexter Jackson and Big Rami at this show. The same Big Rami that was going to win the Olympia later that year. Muscle group by muscle group, this version of William is probably the most complete on this list, but his overall flow has always held him down, just like in this list. Over 74% of you watching my content in the past 28 days aren't subscribed. Imagine where we'd be if just half of you hit that button. It costs you nothing. Let's hit 30k subs. Thank you and God bless. 5th place will be controversial for some of you because I have Derek Lunsford at the 2023 Mr. Olympia, the winner of this show and your current Mr. Olympia. Don't get me wrong, Derek is another bodybuilder who hasn't reached his prime years yet. Actually, he's only done 2 open shows in his career so far, so he may very well top this list after this week is over. However, this physique was not the most convincing one. He controversially beat a rather more modest version of Hadi Chupan, having some pretty obvious weaknesses on stage. Fourth place will probably be at least just as controversial as I have Nick Walker at the 2022 Mr. Olympia. Of course, bodybuilding is ultimately subjective and this is my personal list after all, but this version of Nick Walker will most probably go down as his peak physique and it's another one of those that will become better and better in the collective memory of the bodybuilding universe as the years go by. Indeed arguably the worst proportions on this list but at the same time one of the most massive, complete and conditioned physiques as well. In third place is Brandon Curry at the 2021 Mr. Olympia. This version of Brandon doesn't get enough credit in my opinion. This was the year Big Rami retained the title, not looking very good and also the year Hadi presented arguably his most shredded physique, taking third. But after a few years when looking back at this show, I feel like Brandon was the MVP. This was the only time he managed to bring the fullness from 2019, when he won the whole thing, 
but with more polish. Looking back, Brandon Curry may be the uncrowned Mr. Olympia of 2021. Before we get to the top two, let me give you a few honorable mentions. Akeem Williams at the 2020 Mr. Olympia, Michal Criso at the 2023 M Pro, a very underrated physique, and Hunter Labrada with his 2023 Tampa version, where he was at his best. Don't forget to let me know in the comments if I missed anybody. Okay, now to the top two. While you may have different opinions about the list so far, I think there should be no doubt who the top two physiques of this decade are. Big Rami at the 2020 Mr. Olympia and Hadi Chupan at the 2024 Arnold Classic. These are 1 and 2 in no particular order yet. I will announce now that tomorrow I will upload a full in-depth analysis of this matchup with clearer pictures of Rami to finally settle this one but for now before I do this analysis my feeling about this matchup is this. Big Rami seemed like the obvious choice and his winning the Olympia in 2020 brought an aura to that version of him. But I also feel like the more the years pass, this version of Rami loses its aura. I don't even think this was the best Rami we've seen, probably not even top 2, now that I think more about it. Don't get me wrong, it's still one of the top 2 best physiques of the decade so far, but first place goes to Hadi Chupan at the 2024 Arnold Classic. I've done a ton of videos with this version of Hadi, and maybe I haven't made myself clear to Hadi's fans yet, but I'm positive this is the best physique of the decade so far and I'm pretty sure it will be hard for anyone to surpass this version at this year's Olympia, including Hadi himself. So yes, this is the standard for next weekend's Olympia. If Hadi replicates or even surpasses this version, no one will have a chance to beat him. Also, if anyone else manages to surpass this version, that's your 2024 Mr. Olympia right there. That's my list. Let me know your thoughts in the comments below and don't forget about tomorrow's upcoming video where I'm going to do an in-depth analysis of the big Rami vs. Hadi Chupan matchup. There's still a chance Rami could actually beat this version of Hadi after all, 